Hello YouTube! My name is Nero and today we have some Call of Duty Black Ops 3. We're playing the beta and what I thought we could do for this video is actually show you guys the paint shop mode. One of the most anticipated features of Black Ops 3 is of course the paint shop mode which a lot of people are dubbing to be create a camo. Right? It's definitely a feature a lot of people have been asking to see. So I figured we're going to go ahead and show you guys some gameplay of this paint shop mode in here and show you exactly how awesome and how in-depth it really can be. So first things first, let's go ahead and actually hop in here and show you guys the paint shop. Now you access this just by simply pressing the start button and from here you can actually look at all of the different weapons that are available to us in the beta now of course the classified weapons are not going to be classified when the game actually makes its full release just go ahead and pick a weapon any weapon but keep in mind if you make a specific camo for one weapon it's not going to pertain to all weapons you're gonna have to make the camo for all individual weapons from here you can choose a decal there's tons of different options for you to choose from it's essentially like creating your own emblem if you remember doing that from black ops 2 now you essentially just go through here there's all these different emblems and all these different patterns and designs for you to choose from you can essentially just pick it and then kind of use it as if it were an emblem editor from Black Ops 2. Now what I'm going to be doing here is I just picked this stripe one. Now I'm just going to be scaling up the stripes quite a bit and I'm going to be changing the color of the stripes just to kind of give you guys an example here. I'm just going to be making kind of like an orange stripe camo I suppose for the weapon. Now keep in mind when you're using the paint shop you can't customize the entirety of your weapon right. You can only customize the left side, the top part, we're actually looking at the top part right here, and then the right side of the weapon right. These are the only sides you can actually customize. You can't customize like the very front of the gun or underneath the gun or anything Thing like that. How they planned on doing this is you're going to be able to customize part of your gun. Again, the left side, the mid, the top part, and the right side. And then you're also supposed to incorporate actual camos from the game to kind of make the camo even more unique, right? Now, apparently in the beta, there's going to be no actual weapon camos for us to unlock, but some traditional camos like Digital, Blue Tiger, Red Tiger, Woodland, Desert, different camos like that. Let's say, for example, you end up equipping like a Woodland camo, which is supposed to be just like greens and browns, and you can make your own little emblems and customizations on the side of your weapon to kind of fit in with that camo, thus making it like really your own camo. So I tested this pretty extensively, and as you can see from the footage right here, you can see that you could have a ridiculous amount of layers actually added into even just one side of the weapon, right? So there's definitely going to be a ton of room for detail. There's definitely going to be a lot of really creative camos that people are going to be able to put together here, which is really going to make all of your weapons actually feel unique. So right here is actually going to be like the final product of my little Man of War with the orange stripe camo, right? But some of the other things I actually put together here, for example, you look at the shot gun here. We actually have the KRM-262. All I did, this is the first one I ever put together, all I did was I would just write Nero right there, I put a little skull next to it, and I put like the blue, which is like the same color of blue from my YouTube channel, I just put that there. And it kind of really gives you an idea of exactly how much you can actually customize your weapon, in that this is the all the area that you can actually customize, the left, the top, and the right side, and then the rest of the weapon is actually going to be customized by the camos that you unlock for the weapon itself. Here is going to be the Locust Sniper Rifle. Now what I want to do with this one, again, these are all just examples, I basically took like a wave pattern, and I added like this blue kind of a wave pattern to it and assumably if there was like a blue camo in this game I could add that onto here as well and then really just make it so this weapon itself looks very very nice and the coolest part about it is it's going to be my own camo at the end of the day once I add in like a different like pre-built camo from the game onto this and then put my own designs on top of it every weapon is going to look and feel unique because you're going to be able to customize your weapon very extensively for example here is going to be a knife yes you can customize your knives which is something I think a lot of people are excited for especially the knife only community you can customize your own knives I wrote Nero on here again this is all just for examples, but I just went there and wrote Nero on there. I add in some paint splatters, which are supposed to look like blood. They don't really look like blood, but it looks pretty cool, I think. And bam, there it is. There's a Nero knife. So if I want to have a combat knife as my secondary, or if I wanted to run around a knife only, I would have a knife that actually has my name on it and my own custom designs on it and stuff. It's a really neat system. I think it's one of the coolest things they've added in Call of Duty in a very long time. It's definitely going to add a ton of customization. Like I showed you earlier, there's going to be just a ton of layers that you can actually have here. So there, the possibility for customization here is just really endless. So you can add so many things to this and make it look really, really cool and make it look very unique. So every single weapon in the game, if people want to take the time for it, can look completely different than any other weapon out there. So that's definitely going to be a very, very cool thing. And honestly, I think it's one of the coolest things they've added in Call of Duty in a very long time. And I just wish that somehow we had camos actually unlocked here in the beta so we could actually, you know, mess around with this a little bit. Even just give us like two camos. Give us some boring camos, right? Give us woodland, give us desert. You know, just to allow us to customize them with the paint shop here and actually see what people can come up with. I think that would be very neat. But 
from what I've seen so far and from talking to other people like on Twitter and such, I don't believe there actually is any camos for us to unlock here in the beta. There's not even really any challenges for us to unlock or anything like that. So we're going to have to see if they're going to allow us to have any camos here in the beta. But if not, we got a taste of what Paint Shop is going to be like in Black Ops 3 and there's definitely going to be a whole lot of room for customization. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be the end of my Paint Shop video. Just kind of highlighting and showcasing the things that you can do with this. There is so much customization that you can do with this. But keep in mind, if you're one of those people that wants to draw some very vulgar things on your gun, like for example, if you want to start drawing some penises or swastikas, you're going to get banned. Keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. You will get banned. They're definitely going to be enforcing that heavily this year. So just keep that in mind. Keep it clean. Keep it creative. Have some fun with it. Just have some fun with it, ladies and gentlemen. The paint shop is going to be an awesome feature that is going to be coming to Call of Duty Black Ops 3. And we've got just a taste of it here in the Black Ops 3 beta. Well, once again, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a rating. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.